free GED help, free SAT test prep, even free literacy programs. It all sounds a little too good to be true, right? But it's as real as it gets. There's a program called Beyond Basics that helps with all of that, focusing on one-on-one -on -one mentoring. And as Nick Monticelli reports tonight, another office open to help even more kids in Detroit. If you remember a couple of months ago, we brought you here inside of the Durfee Innovation Society when they were just getting started. Now they've got a handful of tenants in here, and the first one could impact the children of Detroit in ways never seen before. G -e -e Elijah Craft is a perfect example of a Detroit missed opportunity. Make that what could have been a missed opportunity because it wasn't until his senior year that he learned to read. I hated school altogether for a while. Kraft got by, well, by cheating. Huh, here's five dollars if you give me the answers to the test type stuff. So I was like, it was really hard. Really hard until Beyond Basics came into his life. It's a program with one-on-one -on -one tutoring, something few schools can offer. 90% of the kids in their class need one-on-one -on -one attention to get them reading a grade level. And that's the problem. That's why the program is expanding again this time into the Durfee Innovation Society, which has been rehabbed as a community center. It costs about $3,000 per child, and they'll get about 4,000 kids reading every single year. That's why General Motors stepped in this year with a $250,000 grant. Really, from our perspective, to revitalize the city is important because we need the jobs pipeline for the people that are going to be working at General Motors in the future, and so it starts with literacy. It also starts with confidence. Left tackle, O-line and D-line. Something this six foot eight brick wall of a 19 year old. <laughs> move, for, you know, I, I got the moves, but. Didn't have until he could read. I felt little, like real, like what I'm doing here, what I'm even trying for, so. How do you feel now? <laughs> I feel like I could be the president if I wanted to. Ain't nobody stopping me. <laughs> On Detroit's West Side, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. He's a